Okay, your next step in this project is to create your graphs. So, you can select your field in here, and you can sort your columns by any, you can sort your data by any of these columns. So if you go up here to data, after you highlight your field, so I'm going to highlight from Paul Pierce, click and drag all the way to the bottom right corner of my, my field. I'm going to click on data, and if I go to sort, this dialog box pops up. I can sort this by points per game, largest to smallest, and hit OK. Notice how Paul Pierce remains at the top, Ray Allen becomes second, Kevin Garnett third, Rondo fourth. I can go to sort assists per game, and Rondo goes to the top, Pierce second, etc. Okay, once you have, have it the way you want it to look, you can sort it by whatever column you like, or you can just leave it the way it was. So you're going to make your graphs, and how you make a graph is by clicking on your top player. So I'm going to click on Rajon Rondo's name, click and drag down, and then I'm going to hold down the control button, and say I want to graph points per game. So I'm going to hold down Control, and I'm going to click on the top and drag to the fourth. Now I have what's called a multiple selection. On my Home tab, or actually Insert tab, there's some charts to choose from. I'm just going to choose a basic column chart, and I'm going to select the one I like, which is just going to do the basic 3D column, and there's my chart. I'm going to right click, move my chart as a new sheet, title it and the game, and hit OK. Notice how they're all blue. I have to right click, format data series, and in the fill tab, you need to vary the colors by point. And now that gets them their own color. Now you can color coordinate this however you want. Again, these are all Boston Celtics, so I'm just going to choose different colors. That way you can see the different players. At the top, I can click out here on the Home tab or Insert Word Art. And at the top, I have a title for this graph. Now again, I told you you have to do three or four of those. So it's back to stats. Click and drag. Hold down Control. Let's do assist per game. Click and drag. Insert column. Right click. Move chart. New sheet. Assist per game. Hit OK. Notice it shows up down here. Right click. Format data series. Fill. Vary colors by point. Hit close. And then insert word art. Going back to our prompt. Three charts, I said. So I'll we'll have to do one more. Go back to stats. Click and drag. Click and drag. Insert column. Right click. Move chart. New sheet. You're going to put the name. Right click. Format data. Fill. Vary colors by point. And there you go. Notice how on the rubric it says title of stats, chart 1, chart 2, chart 3, and on mine, stats, and I just title them what they are. That's totally acceptable. So you have three charts and stats. Now you add a title to this.
now I'm going to save it, open up a PowerPoint, and you're going to create your own write up on who was the best performer for whatever you're breaking down. And you can use pictures from the internet. You can choose to do this however. I'm just going to show you how to import your graph. You guys all know how to make a PowerPoint. Um, and I'm going to show you the examples in class. But here's how you bring in your graph to PowerPoint when you start doing your data analysis. So you're going to start looking at your charts, deciding who was the best player. In this case, I'm just going to say that Rajon Rondo won because of his assists. So I'm going to make a PowerPoint, title it Rajon Rondo, give a picture of him, and then do the charts. So here's a new slide. It can be a totally blank slide here. All you have to do is on the edge of your graph, click on it, then right click, copy, go into PowerPoint, right click, paste, and your chart comes right into a presentation. Okay, so please look at the class example on how to finish this project, but those are the skills needed in Excel for you to be successful. And remember, you can do whatever you'd like from a statistics point. So this is basketball, you can do baseball, you can do football, you can do golf, I've seen movies, um, whatever you want to do, you can do for this project as long as you show me that you can calculate mathematics. And I'm really going to focus on are you showing me formulas on the averages? Okay, so use the total stats from online, do not use the averages. And again, here's the difference for basketball. Here are the averages, they calculated them, okay, but I want you to do that calculation. Here are the totals. That's what you're going to show, and then you're going to calculate these using Excel. Okay.